Welcome, Welcome back. back to the Cruise Brothers React. React. Back for some more Tokyo Revengers. Look at all the adults. Oh, she's about to smack them up. So she really isn't scared to like speak up against like bullies or or bad people or loud mouths. <clears throat> Way better person than you. I like how all the I like how all the adults were getting annoyed and so was he because he's an adult. <laughs> What's his dream? He forgot. I wonder what happened with these two and how they went apart. Because it seems like she's a good... Bro, he's got aspirations, bro. She seems like she's a good, um, like, impression on him or, like, a positive thing in his life. Yeah, there's probably a lot of things that we are gonna fi find out. <laughs> she don't even know that she got a boyfriend? Oh, shit, he said something. He better not say too much. Oh. Remember, he said he wanted to be like his police officer. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, this guy is really gonna blow his cover. He For really real, is a, a future spy. <laughs> Look at Matt Sus. Talk about police officers, bro. You see, you're nicer than before and yeah, more mature. Because you're supposed to be a delinquent. <laughs> you're talking about, oh, he's gonna be a no, good bro, cop. He's, he's not a delinquent no more. And he's like, uh,. He's grown up, life. bro. He's mature. When he was younger in this time, he was probably just out Punk getting into kid, fights, yeah. ch chasing girls, probably doing dumb shit. But now he's from, focused on his girlfriend. From the first episode, he was like, I look so lame. He's like, what the hell am I doing? <coughs> he never happened in his whole life. Damn, bro. He wants to stay. Yo, imagine, bro. I would want to stay here, too. What, what's the point of going back to the future? If he could stay here, then just stay. Bro, he and and protect him her, her himself. He just grabbed her hand, bro. He's doing some manly shit right now. That's game, bro. I don't know what the fuck you talk about, but my man has game now. What? <laughs> Never mind. You're a fucking idiot, bro. Shut he up. doesn't have game. Uh oh. You idiot. <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it was meant to be, bro. To sleep. Yeah, that is the funniest gag ever, bro. <laughs> Mad sad. He was having the time of his life, bro. He talking to him about a shit that happened mad long time ago, like he remembers. Yeah, he processed that shit mad quick. What changed? Oh, he. Wow. <laughs> oh shit! So he was. So he really was like. He was like, bro, my man was astral projecting into space and time. <laughs> Yeah, this is so cool, bro. The fact that he was just in the past and now he's talking about the body. Bro, what? Bro, he's what you talking about? Yeah, I guess this he got mad complicated, bro. But I guess he can't bring himself to do it since in the past he hasn't done all that shit. Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gonna talk to him? Yo, he's bugging. He's gonna be like, do you remember me from fucking. Because remember, they have a bond from the new future. He wants to talk to him in the present? Yeah. Don't get he yourself to, that, killed, that's, bro. It, this is good for him to know, though. He needs to know why and how he is in the present. Okay, but this is dangerous. To see how, where he changes in the this past. It is dangerous, is dangerous. yes. Dangerous. But this fucking about... show is hot, so shut up! We're not you don't want danger! He's gotten, he's gotten stronger, bro. <laughs> he's gotten stronger, Johnny, mentally. Is that? No way. No Yo, way. he joined, Johnny. We were wondering what happened to him. I was actually wondering what happened to him. Oh, so he, so since he didn't do that, he changed. He, that was supposed to happen. Wait, so oh, how shit. is he still aware of what happened? I don't know. Maybe because there, he's part of the handshake that somehow he can recollect the memories. Yo, this shit is getting fucking interesting. <laughs> <laughs> bro, yo. you telling me this guy's a fucking no one should live like You telling this. me this guy got game? Yeah, nah. Jesus Christ, bro. <laughs> bro, his life sucks. Holy shit. <laughs> he, got he said, I'm gonna go buy some masks. <laughs> oh, that's phone book. Motherfucker really kept a phone book for those that many years? Uh oh. What's the chances that he kept the same phone number all these years? How did they fall out? I mean, how did he, like, I don't know, let's see. Did he upgrade his phone? To yeah, like a smart look, phone? we're gonna get some backstory on what happened to him. Mm. 
That's what he told them. Let's see if it's true. Shit Look at changes, him smiling. He's about to believe what the fuck you want. Shit changes. It's different. What? <sighs> For real, bro. Remember the last time you tried that, bro, in the past? I don't understand you think this, this is, is your friend, but... Good, uh, I know, bro. Nah, it's he, been... It's, a, he, I, I take it back. This guy's short, too gullible and, st gullible and stupid. But it's been a short time for him, not for fucking... Yeah. Right, obviously, but he knows. He should consciously know that is there's a time difference. Damn, bro. Oh, he looks my God, mad bro. Different. He looks like a fucking criminal, bro. This man got a whole tight at sleeve. He probably he's probably talking about he wanted him to come eventually to join their gang because you know Mikey likes him. Hey, look at this motherfucker looking like a gangster. Oh shit! I really thought he was gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> Yo, why is this show? Why is this show feeling so good right now, bro? Bro, this is a movie, bro. It really is. I remember that shit like it was yesterday. <laughs> Why? His own friend? He was ordered, Chris. I told you. I should have killed you, but someone saved you. Yo, he's out to kill him for real. How does he know? How did he put that together? He's hella perceptive for putting that together. Damn, bro. Bro, what the fuck am I watching? <laughs> Uh, this guy's about to jump off this fucking building, bro. Draken? His friend, Johnny. He wasn't supposed to die. Bro, his life got turned upside down because of this gang. Yo, he really believes he could change the past that he's gonna kill himself right here. He says, I believe it so much that you're gonna go back and save me. Bro, this motherfucker is crazy, and this shit is so hot. Our cra oh my! Yo, this show is quickly becoming a ten out of ten. I understand. <laughs> oh my god, this is hitting my heart for this kid, bro. It's like, yo, you gotta go back to the past right now and change this shit. This is just like the butterfly effect movie. I'm telling you, bro. Holy shit. This is fucked up, man. And look who was here the whole time. That's Kasaki, bro. Bro, that's the freaking the leader right now, bro. Mikey has been gone. Now, this motherfucker has... That's three people that this motherfucker has killed that he has now have a relationship with. show you don't have to do no fantasy shit to make a good anime this is fantasy dumbass oh bro but you know what i mean oh my god this shit is hot bro oh my god this shit is hot bro they just threw mad fucking layers bro they and, just and threw that mad kid was layers. so likable too bro In oh the my past, god bro he was right so cool. bro and then he took but it's not his fault bro he just he said it himself bro Kasaki was the one who turned them evil. The guy with the the one that was hiding in the back there with the glasses, he's the other leader. The two leaders were Mikey and Kasaki, according to Takamichi. But according right now, what's happening is Mikey is MIA because it seems like he changed after his best friend died. So I don't know. Maybe he left the organization altogether and he's not a part of it, or maybe he is a part of it. He just doesn't involve himself in the fucking criminal activities anymore. He has to be a part of it. That's what uh, this guy's talking yeah, about. Yeah, that's. I mean, he said he's a part of it. Yeah, and he's he hates them, but maybe he doesn't know the whole story. The brother might not know the whole story as a police officer. You know, police don't get all the background details. But um, it's just crazy, bro. Holy fucking shit. Um, Kasa now he wants to go back and somehow fucking... Now he knows who he needs to target in the past. It's not fucking... Um, what's the other guy's name? The main... Mikey. It's not Mikey, bro. Mikey's his boy. And now the boy guy is his boy. He needs to save them and fucking kill the other guy. So, Kasagi, now he gotta... Oh my God. Where does he play oh. into this, man? 
Oh my god. And you know what's you know what's even crazier too? The fact that when he goes back in time that we found out about this, he goes back in time 12 years to that day. So when he goes back in time, it's still going to be time after of whatever happened already, you know? Yeah. So he has to change whatever happens after that. So he's already fr he set everything up already. He's friends with this person. He he's now more involved with his relationship with uh, Hina to make sure that she doesn't fucking die. Like he's doing the right things, but he just has to fucking go back ASAP, bro. After the shit that just happened, he has to go the back. The initial mission was to make them not meet. Um, right, but two, everything right? changed, bro. It's crazy how that was the original mission, but now everything has changed. I mean, I mean, with that's these still with these turn of events. That's the question is if it's if still they, kind of the, the the but no but the thing is if they don't meet that doesn't save everyone that saves hina not everyone no that saves them too because he's the once he joins the gang that might have been what what all this crazy shit happened so you remember what the guy said he said he died mm -hmm. he wasn't supposed to but like something happened there you know but so it's all it go, all goes back to Oh, him joining the gang yeah something maybe he was the one that turned the gang more bad than it what it what it is you know who knows exactly what happened we don't even know maybe mikey still did turn bad but uh takamichi still has hope on saving him in the past but damn this shit is fucking crazy bro oh my god not our not the not mikey's boy bro he died that he was, was cool man was such an moment emotional moment it was that bro meeting, and bro. the fact uh, and the fact that he was the one that pushed him bro and like he was ordered to kill him like i honestly did they we don't say that did, was that like okay that? honestly no it wasn't you just said that and i just said that right now but it, it might be in some sense that because he was talking about oh i just i do everything that kasaki tells me to do blah blah blah. you know yeah. kasaki might have told him to kill him but why though you know that's the question why Bro, I swear to God, I said this before, bro. I knew that they were gonna figure out that he t he was trying time traveling, and they were gonna try to kill him, bro. That's what I, I mean, think is happening right now, bro. It might be that they have somehow figured it out, and that's why he got him ordered to kill him. <laughs> because you know, another thing too is like the fact that he put together that he was a time traveler so quick. Maybe he came into that that uh, moment about to kill him already having that idea in his head. That he was a time traveler somehow some way that and when come back yeah yeah and when he did it and saw for a fact that he was saved he was confirmed it was confirmed for him he was like this motherfucker is a time tra or like he did so every, or he's god or something it's interesting so every time they try to kill him they're gonna see something where he's saved and it's gonna be like in their mind yo this guy is unkillable <laughs> bro like yeah bro like man this shit is too in depth bro there's layers to this shit and it's so cool, bro. And honestly, like, it really is like, um, oh, there was another, um, th that's one little detail I want to talk about too. There was another interesting factor in this, in this, uh, in this episode where, um, Nanto was able to retain his memories from a previous past that had been changed. This means that he is somehow into um, he's, connected. he's connected with with, the, uh, um, with, with thing the, because we yeah. knew we do see the uh, the you know the pretty much the the way that he shifts back and forth it's, from the past thing is like, the is the handshake you know it's like he's uh, uh traveling to a different dimension just like fucking takamichi is bro exactly bro this shit is some crazy ass shit bro this is a good show guys this chris, was a good ass episode chris i'm clearly really excited about this one guys. i'm i'm ready to see some more bro because this it's shit good, is though. Uh, yeah it's good it's really i talk good. about so much how <sighs> how it's hard for for anime to get drama right but this is it right here man holy shit <laughs> That's why you're excited, bro. Exactly, You've been waiting for man. a show like this. <laughs> Come on now. They got it right, bro. They got the relationships right. They got the, the suspense right. Everything is going good right now. All right. Enough of it. I can't wait for the next one, guys. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Pledge a dollar to our Patreon if you want these earlier than YouTube and in full length. Uh, the link is in the description. Consider supporting on Patreon because it does help us put out these reactions every single day. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves as always. And peace. peace.